everybody. Welcome to Saponi Creek Outdoors. Today we're featuring episode one of our 2021 turkey season here in North Carolina. Today's episode is going to feature a buddy of mine named Tyler who I work with. He had never been turkey hunting before so I wanted to kind of introduce him to what turkey hunting was all about. I, we talked about it for months. He finally was just, you know, I, I want to do it, I want to do it. So we put him on some of our best spots and we, we went out before daylight, got set up, nothing. No gobbles, no birds, we didn't see anything. So after miles and miles of walking, we finally came upon one field that I told him was notorious for having a bird in. I refer to this bird as a ghost bird. Uh, I have shot at this bird myself multiple times, should have had him dead to rights and missed him. Other people I know in the club have shot at this bird and missed him. Uh, it's like he's wearing ballistic armor or something and uh, cannot be hit. But I told him, I said, look, we're going to sneak around this field. There's a path that cuts up through the woods. When we come around that point, a lot of times he's standing out there and usually within range or close to it. Well, sure enough, we got there. I walked up ahead of him. I told him, hey, he's out here. We came back, regrouped, and the stalk was on him. There was no way to get uh, set up on him. He was with a hen. And so the crawling commenced. And, uh, and it was a little bit of humor, uh, which you will see here shortly. I'll let the video speak for itself. Oh shit. Yeah, we missed him. Alright, Ty Wolf, it's time to redeem yourself. Hey, I'm gonna really try. <laughs> I'm gonna really try. That freaking last one. Yeah, that one swing and a miss yeah swing and a miss <laughs> all right so after that comedic gold uh we decided to continue to hunt we walked for literally miles um we guesstimated 10 miles that day walking um we regrouped went and grabbed a bite for lunch and just sat there trying to recuperate from uh all the just exhaustion that we experienced and uh, so we went and grabbed a bite to eat we came back i said okay let's go hit a spot that a buddy of mine told me about uh, that I had never hunted uh, or had any luck in before, but a um, buddy of mine said, yeah, go try it over here. So we, we did. We drove over, started calling, and again, it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, absolutely no, no gobbling whatsoever. Didn't see any birds in the field. So about every 100 yards of walking, um, we were going down a path that was lined with fields, and as we're going down the, the path, we get to one little opening that comes through the wood a lot there. And as we come around, I call. And about the time that I call, a duck flew up out of the, out of the water. And when it did, you know, it, it made a, a call and made a noise as it flew up. At the exact same time that I called, when I did, we heard a turkey gobble. Um, from that point on, my buddy was like, of course, obviously his eyes were this big around. He said, what are we gonna do? And I said, well, look, we're not set up. He's close. What we're going to do, we're going to go into the wood line and we're trying to film him a little bit coming across. He continued to gobble. Everything that I threw at him, he would gobble. And I said, but um, we may not get good footage on this, but let's step into the woods about 20, 30 yards in and make him come look for us, which as you can see from the video, we didn't get a lot of good footage on it, but nonetheless, it turned out exactly the way we wanted. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy the footage.
he's, he's right out in front of He's straight out in front of my camera right now. He's coming right to us. You see him? Look straight out in front of my camera. He's strutting right now. He's gonna, he's gonna come right to us. He's, he's gonna angle right to us. See him? He's strutting. Just let him come on in. Did you hit him? Yep. I think I got him. It looked like you got him. I think I got him. It looked like you got him. <laughs> Alright, y'all guys stay tuned. It looked like he it looked like he made a good hit. It looked like he flopped over. Yeah. To me. He's a big bird. It looked like he did a put him back there. Just be ready with your next one just in case. Do you have a good shot on him? Man, so I was sitting, I saw about a split second I could see him come in. And then I saw him stick that head up. And I knew from that last time this morning I wasn't going to waste the perfect opportunity. Let's see what it looked like. Cause... He was right over here. He was right over here. I just didn't see him after you shot it. Look, he backflipped. I don't see him now. He was right over in here. There you go. Where at? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, sir. What you say, Tom Webb? <laughs> hey, now watch them spurs, because they'll get you. Tiger Webb got his first bird. And yeah, he'll probably start flopping. He's got a good beard on him too, boy. Freaking paintbrush. Watch them spurs uh, drag him on out here. Oh yeah, you blistered him, boy. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't about to let him go. Stay tuned, boys and girls. Boy. Really? <laughs> yes, sir. He's like uh, one last one. He needs one more fly, Daddy. He's a big bird, man. He's pretty. I'll get him out to that open out there. All right. <laughs> Ted, tell us about your first turkey hunt. Um, well, we've been at it all all day long. Um, first time ever turkey hunting. Um, walked in the woods over here. Finally heard one goblin. And um, me and Neil got set up in the inside the woods here, heard him across the way, maybe, I don't know, 100 yards to begin with. And uh, we found a couple of trees to lean up against, set up into it. And uh, so we heard it gobble a few times and he turned, he turned around, looked at me and I said, we're going to kill this bird. <laughs> and uh, I'll be dang, dude. Um, probably 10 minutes of gobbling, he walked right over there to us and as soon as I had the shot, I took it because I knew I missed one earlier this morning, so I wasn't going to let this one get away. So what you think about the first one? Awesome. <laughs> very, very fun. Very cool. 
Well, I'm glad we can make it happen. So, yeah. three o'clock in the afternoon. So, that's right. My thing, my advice would be: do not give up. Keep <laughs> at it. How many miles do you think we've walked today? At least ten. <laughs> at least ten miles. We went and grabbed lunch earlier, and I think we just sat and what I drank three. 32 ounce yeah. <laughs> cups of uh, sugar-free yeah. lemonade. A few bathroom breaks <laughs> later, a few miles later, and here we are. Absolutely. So we'll get measurements on him. Uh, he's a mature bird. I'd say that beard's probably 10 inches, at least nine. He's got about one inch spurs. Uh, mature bird. So uh, again, three o'clock in the afternoon. Sir, got it done. Got it done. First bird down. Yes, sir. And uh, about a month to go. So. Y'all stay tuned, we'll get some more footage.